Hello and welcome to mini course. Your gateway to bite sized learning. Today you will learn how to formulate a hypothesis, its definition, types of hypothesis, and examples. Let's get started. What is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a tentative conclusion or answer to a specific question raised at the beginning of the investigation. It is an educated guess about the answer to a specific question. There are two types or forms of hypothesis. One is null hypothesis, two is an alternative hypothesis. A null hypothesis means no existence. It is a statistical hypothesis, intended for testing. It suits statistical techniques that can determine whether the obtained relationship or differences are due to chance or true relationship or difference. It is a denial of the existence of an attribute, a relationship, or difference of an effect. It is always stated in the negative form. While the alternative hypothesis is considered the operational statement of the research hypothesis, it is stated in the affirmative. Here's an example. Question. Is there any significant difference between the perceptions of the teachers and those of the students concerning the different aspects of the teaching of business? State the null hypothesis. There is no significant difference between the perceptions of the teachers and those of the students concerning the different aspects of the teaching of business. And what about the alternative hypothesis? There is a significant difference between the perceptions of the teachers and those of the students concerning the different aspects of the teaching of business. Here's another example. The problem is, does verbal negative feedback affect the attitude of an employee toward respect for his supervisor? There's how you will estate the null. Verbal negative feedback does not affect the attitude of an employee toward respect for his supervisor. The alternative hypothesis is, verbal negative feedback affects the attitude of an employee toward respect for his supervisor. In descriptive researches where the objective is plainly to provide baseline information of the situation, the hypothesis may be formulated after the investigation. The hypothesis formulated should be part of the researcher's recommendation. Subsequent researches may work on such a guess. Thank you for joining us in this lesson on formulating hypotheses. Your curiosity and engagement make this learning journey vibrant. Stay tuned for our upcoming lesson by hitting that subscribe button. I look forward to exploring more with you in our next session. Until then, happy learning!